Hello everyone, my name is Jim the Cactus and I'm here to show you how I do my paintings. Uh, as with any decent discussion about art, the best place to start is with my tools. As you can see here, I run a dual display rig, uh, running them both at 1080p makes it easier for me to have plenty of room for references and for the actual drawing palette. I then also have a Wacom Bamboo Pen & Touch. Uh, if you get a chance to buy one of these, I do recommend them. However, if you can get just the pin version, it works just as well. I turned off the touch on this one. I've never turned it back on again, so it's not really doing me much. And then lastly, I have my references. Everyone from Little Miss Twilight Sparkle here, all the way up to the Who Knows Why She's Pink Celestia. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see how I do my work. So my tool of choice is Paint Tool Psy. Uh, today we'll be drawing Silver Spoon. Uh, you can see I started off with a 3000 by 2000 canvas, and you'll notice I start from the back working forward. Uh, something interesting about painting is you really can't start at the front and go back. It just doesn't work. There's no way to layer back in. Um, you can fight with it. It does actually sort of work if you're really, really patient. I'm not that patient. Uh, here you can see I'm actually putting together some grass, adding in some foreground textures. It's actually some really fancy brushwork, uh, which if you really want to see, it's in the full video. Um, here you can see me doing out my line work sketch. This is going to be a reference to work from, uh, so that I know exactly what I'm up against. Then I start building my palette and filling in the sketch. Uh, this is just the first preliminary stage. As you can see now, I'm starting to tighten everything in and get in the proper lines. Once I've done that and tidied everything up, then what I can do is I can start to uh, finish filling in the lines, sorry. And then we can actually switch over to doing some of the detail work. So here you can see I'm finishing up on some of the base colors. Next, uh, we'll start doing shading. And you can see that I, I use a total of five colors in my palette. And this is where we actually define what's in the foreground, what's in the background, and how it all layers together. You can see I like to draw a horseshoe in my particular ones, but there's really no obligation to do so. The, we have yet to see the ponies actually wear any horseshoes. Um, then we start shading from back to front, uh, background to foreground. This allows us to layer everything nicely. And then you can see I'm starting to deal with the face itself and doing some blending using the umbral and penumbral shadows uh, to truly establish the shape of the face. Uh, same thing with the kind of diffuse highlight and specular highlights. Uh, one of the big things about painting is, is that, for the most part, you spend your time blending. Uh, you're not actually putting down color, you're just spreading it around, moving it into the meaningful places that you actually expect it to land in. Uh, next, you can see we actually key up the eyes and the highlights, and then start highlighting the eyeglass frames. This gives the, the frames themselves some definition. Uh, then we just start putting in the face, and doing some general rework there, and then we start shading in the... Uh, the actual hair, and this is done using a brush and mostly just pulling the, the strands around. Uh, spherical painting is a lot easier. We just simply lay down colors on the edges and it gives them the shape. Um, then basically I did a little bit more refining here, filled in the background, drew on the cutie mark, did a little bit of attenuation, and then we get to the end. I hope you've learned something from this little three minute video, but if you want to know more, send me a note or leave me a comment and I'll post the full two and a half hour video where I include all of my comments about each of the techniques I used. Otherwise, happy painting and have a good night!